In an age of mechanization, hand craftsmanship still survives. Nowhere better than an Eton College boathouse where racing boats are built for world markets. Each boat is a complete one-man effort, and it takes Herbert O'Dell just three weeks to build one like this, 27 feet long in pine and spruce with a skin of Honduras cedar and no glue. No less important than the boat are the skulls, the special province of Len Fern and Eric Holtham. Skulls are of silver spruce and are constructed of three pieces, the main length from top to bottom and two pieces glued either side called the blade cheeks from which Len starts to shape the finished blade. Eric Holtham grooves the skulls with a plow as it's called. The secret of British boat building supremacy lies not only in superior design, but in the traditions handed down from father to son, and at Eton it's an all-family affair. Now it's time to varnish. Four coats are the rule, and the weight of the finished skulls, which are always made in pairs, is four and a half pounds each. They are beautiful examples of craftsmanship, made completely by hand. The output nowadays is about 12 boats a year as compared with 50 in 1938. But they're in worldwide demand. And this is one of two built for the Karachi Rowing Club, a magnificent advertisement for British workmanship. <laughs>